The Corsair Platform 6 is a modular computer desk designed to adapt to you with enhanced customization through multiple mounting and expansion options, optional adjustable height, and plentiful cable management built right into the desk itself. To get started assembling Platform 6, lay the desk surface top down on a piece of cardboard or a blanket. Place the left and right legs and secure them into place with four of the 15mm M8 bolts per side. Place the feet onto each leg with the long ends pointing towards the front of the desk. Secure the feet into place with the M8 bolts. Attach the two D brackets with the arrows pointing forward and use the 15mm M6 bolts to secure them into place. Place the wire management tray over the D brackets and fasten the front into place with the wing nut screws and the rear with the 10mm M6 bolts. If your desk features adjustable height controls, the controller can be installed to either the left or right side of the desk. Use the 15mm M6 bolts to secure the controller into place. Install the power supply between the rails with the AC power port facing the right side of the desk, and secure it into place using two 15mm M4 bolts. Wire up the motors for the desk legs to either side of the power supply by connecting them to the M1 and M2 ports. Connect the controller to the HS port on the power supply, and connect the power cable to the power supply AC port. Insert the cable management clips into the desk, and route the cables for the motors and controller through them to keep the cabling secure. Now grab a friend and carefully flip the desk over so that it's resting on its feet. Install the crossbeam support bar by aligning the large holes over the half-threaded rear screws. The support bracket should slide over the screws and lower into place. The bar should be pushed down until it's even on both sides. Once the support bar is secure, tighten down the bolts fully and snap the plastic covers on. With the desk upright and stable, it's time to install the top rail assembly. Pick either the left or right side of the desk and insert two dowel pins into the alignment holes on the desk surface. Now, lower a corner support onto the pins. With the corner support aligned, secure it fully to the desk using a ratcheting bolt. Check the set screws in the corner support and make sure that they are tight. Now, you can slide the top rail over the horizontal T-nuts on the corner support. Install the other corner support and slide the other side of the rail into place. Secure the rail using the T-nuts by fully tightening the set screws. T-nuts allow you to add accessories and extensions to Platform 6's rail system. The black T-nuts are M6 threaded and used for assembly of extensions and accessories. The silver T-nuts are quarter inch threaded and are compatible with Elgato mount products. To add a T-nut to a rail, rotate it horizontally and slide it into the rail sideways. If we want to fix an accessory into place, we can use the set screw on one side of these T-nuts to lock it into place. We can skip this if we want an accessory to be able to slide along the rail instead. The three-port power strip can either be clamped to the desk surface or attached to the rail system. To mount the three-port power strip to the rail, loosen the center screw and slide the clamped mount plate off the power strip. Slide the rail mount plate onto the power strip from the open side and secure the screw. Make sure to tighten the center screw into the bracket to keep the power strip from sliding. Align the holes on the mounting plate with the T-nuts and install using two 10mm M6 bolts. The longer power strip can now be placed into the cable management tray. Plug the USB cable from the in-desk storage power ports into the USB Type-A port on the longer power strip. Connect the other end of the cable to the USB Type-C port on the underside of the in-desk storage compartment. This will provide power to the storage compartment's USB-A and USB-C ports. Cable trays can be installed behind the wire management tray or onto the rail system using T-nuts. Cable channels can also be used to help conceal cables from the top of the desk. Assemble the cable channels by snapping the straight and 90 degree pieces together. Mount the assembled cable channels to the rear of the top rail using T-nuts. When installed on the rail, the cable channels allow you to route and conceal cables down the corner supports. You can also install the cable channels to the rear of the wire management tray with the included snap-in fasteners. If your Platform 6 is equipped with adjustable height, you can press and hold the up or down buttons to raise and lower desk height, as well as save up to two different memory height presets. Just adjust the desk to your desired height and hold the one or two button down for five seconds to save the preset. Next time you hit the button, the desk will adjust itself to the height that you saved to it. To install the dual monitor arm, loosen the large screw on the mounting bracket and open it by rotating the plate 180 degrees. Place the bracket over the rail with the pole facing the rear and slide the mount to your preferred location. Rotate the bracket closed and secure the plate with the screw. Use the hand knob to tighten the mount onto the rail. Loosen the lock collar and remove by sliding it off the post. Loosen the dual arm collar and place the collar over the post. Adjust it to the desired height and retighten. Slide the lock collar back on and secure it into place. Remove the bolt and washers from each of the cover mounts. Place an extension arm onto the dual arm mount and a spring arm onto the extension arm. Secure everything into place using the cover mounts by inserting them into the sockets and tightening fully. 
Do this for both monitor arms if you are mounting two monitors. To install a monitor, remove the stand from your VESA compatible monitor as instructed in your monitor manual's instructions. Screw the VESA mount plate onto the back of your monitor with the flatter side of the plate oriented towards the top. Make sure to check which screws and spacers may be needed for your specific monitor. Now, slide the monitor into the opening on the head of the monitor arm while pulling the pin to fully secure and lock the monitor into place. To adjust the spring tension on the monitor arm, turn the screw clockwise to reduce tension or counterclockwise to increase tension. For cable management, you can tuck away cables from your displays into the channels on both the upper and lower arms. If you wish to install an Elgato flex arm, you can install the included Elgato flex arm adapter directly to the top of the post on the dual monitor arm assembly or to the rail using a silver T-nut. Additional Elgato multi-mount accessories such as stands may be installed using the included multi-mount adapter. And that's it for assembling the Corsair Platform 6. You're now ready to elevate your workspace with a desk that's up to the task, whether it be gaming, streaming, or productivity. How will you set up yours? Thanks for watching.